David Gravel all over. Sunshine for second now. Gravel to the inside of one and two. He'll take the spot. David Gravel up to second now. Cross flags, 18 down, 17 to go for Sheldon Hodgson. And David Gravel is getting closer. 20 shots around Tyler Courtney for third. We work on lap number 20 of 35 at US 36 Raceway. David Gravel getting closer to Sheldon Hodenshield. Oh, Sheldon gets into the slower car and spins. Sheldon Hodenshield tangling with Chris Windham and spinning to a stop in turn one. Goes low into turn one, gets into the back of Chris Windham. Both cars spin. David Gravel does a nice job to make the move around the outside. Gravel brings us back to the green flag. Gravel to the bottom, Donnie Schatz in the middle, Sunshine up to challenge Schatz for second. Courtney to the inside in three and four, Donnie Schatz good off the middle there. Abreu fends off Kofoid and now looks again to the outside of the 41 of Carson Macedo. Fifth spot up for Gravel, they make contact, contact between Abreu and Macedo and Abreu sits sideways in turn two. David Gravel accelerates back to the green flag. Tyler Courtney looks to the inside of Donnie Schatz, but gets passed on the inside by James McFadden. Shots second, McFadden third, Kofoid now fourth, McFadden coming after shots for the second spot. Tyler Courtney shuffled back to fifth. Courtney now coming back after Buddy Kofoid for fourth. Can't make it happen in one and two, and now right there is Carson Macedo. Close call in front of the leaders, Chase Park was a little crossed up in turn. Go, car upside down. Red flag conditions, Ryan Timms upside down in turns one and two. Back underway at US 36 Raceway. Buddy Kofoid looks to Donnie Schatz for second, can't make a move in one and two. Kofoid's teammate James McFadden challenging for the third position. David Gravel becomes the first repeat winner of 2024. Donnie shot second and third goes to Buddy Kofoid at US 36 Raceway. David Gravel climbs up top to celebrate his first ever win at US 36 Raceway. Oh uh, man, I don't know, it was a roller coaster. That first start was really bad and I fell back to seventh and luckily there was a red right before everybody crossed the start finish line or I definitely wouldn't be winning this race here tonight. So uh, luckily we were able to get a redo there. And you know, early on I felt like the inside was not the place to be on the start and fell back to fourth. But um, just kind of searching around with those guys and we were able to move around and, and get to third and then get to second. And then, uh, you know, Sheldon got into the lap car there. But I felt like we were right there and could pace them well. And I liked my chances. I wish we got to race it out. But um, yeah, uh, the guys gave me a really good car. We got Scott here tonight and Hillbilly, but uh, Cody, uh, Zach, and Steven did a really good job. So we had a five-man crew here tonight. They brought us some parts and motors and stuff like that. So I uh, appreciate them taking the drive out and helping us out. But uh, feels good to get another win. Uh, man, nine winners and, and nine races are pretty insane. And, uh, you know, ran second the last two nights. So uh, hopefully we can keep this going. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, to make up for last year is, is great. And, yeah, that turn one up top uh, is, is treacherous, and it didn't get as high uh, this time around. They, they had a lot of water on the bottom of one and two, and that was kind of the obvious groove and the safest groove to run it consistently. So I uh, just got to thank everybody at Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, um, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, uh, Impact Signs. Uh, thank you for all you do. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good year. Uh, we stubbed our toe one night, but I feel like other than that, we've been on our game. So uh, Don, Donnie's been running strong, too, so I know it's going to be a battle all year long.